The latest health-based technology is not just for doctors. Along with popular fitness monitors, there are a lot of gadgets out there created to help you stay healthy. And just like on your cell phone or your smartphone, there are a number of wireless devices that can help keep you on track. Our medical expert, Dr. Mandir Mera with SSM Health is here with some of those gadgets. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good morning. So we, you get to play with toys today. <laughs> I do, yeah. I guess maybe let's start off with a thermometer kind yeah. of and, and explain for us what's going on here. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, taking your temperature has not been a new phenomenon for doctors or for those of us at home not feeling well, if we have children. Uh, basically, this is provided by Withings. They were kind enough to provide us with a sample here uh, from Verizon. So it's a thermometer, but the cool thing is that it's digital and electronic, and it also syncs with Bluetooth devices. So for example, your cell phone. Yeah. So once you actually take your temperature, it electronically then can send the information to your phone, and then of course gives you data to kind of monitor what's happening with your fever curve. And so this can be very useful if you're ill or if you have a child at home that's sick and you want to send some data to your physician and say, hey, this is what's going on, things are getting better or worse. I was going to ask you as a doctor, would having this information, because not everybody is writing down, oh, my temperature was this at this time, this at yeah. this time, would that right. be helpful for you to kind of track things? Yeah, especially theoretically, you know, if you say, let's just take a child, for example, mm -hmm. a child's not feeling well and uh, not having good oral intake, so the next question is, is a child febrile? And so it's great to not have to look at an old school thermometer and just see something digital <laughs> and say, okay, if this is calibrated correctly, that's very helpful. Your child is febrile, not febrile. And then there are color-coded um, signals on here, I think, green, orange, and mm -hmm. red. Red kind of being danger zone and orange being lukewarm and green being you're in the normal range. Got it. Moving on here, yeah. we have a wireless blood pressure cuff here. Again, yeah. something that's not necessarily new, but the wireless element. Yeah, again, very cool. So you can see it's it's pretty compact, pretty um, sleek looking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many devices uh, you can get at your local pharmacies as well. But again, same kind of concept. You apply the blood pressure cuff, you take the reading, syncs again to your phone or your um, smart device can give you a good sort of chart out, chart of what's been happening with your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Now, blood pressure, as we always talk about on the show, is one of the most preventable causes of heart attack, stroke, cardiovascular events. So accurately taking your blood pressure is very important. Whenever you get a new blood pressure device, whether it's this or another one um, over the counter, it's very important to make sure it's calibrated with your doctor. So um, there are a lot of stories about people taking their blood pressure at home, thinking it's normal, right. and then being sort of concerned that when they went to the doctor, it was high. Mm -hmm. Now, was it falsely elevated? They were nervous at being at the doctor, <laughs> or is it the fact that blood pressure cuff isn't calibrated? So, all doctors sort of encourage bring your cuff in, calibrate it, make sure we're getting concurrent readings. It seems like a lot of folks kind of the, the in technology these days is something you're wearing on your wrist. Exactly. So, I mean, be it a Fitbit, and and this there's a watch here that that kind of helps as well. Yes. So then moving on to the watch, yeah. it's a great um, segue here into this Fitbits, this Apple, Samsung, a lot of smart watches out there these days. Yeah. And this is just a great example of just an activity monitor. And so uh, we always talk about getting out there, being more active, mm -hmm. sleeping enough. And so this monitors all those things. It monitors your sleep as well as your activity level, swimming level, tells time. Looks pretty sleek again, which is cool. Uh, just remember, these won't do the activity for you. Uh, <laughs> and this won't lower your blood pressure and this will not make you a febrile. So these are all great tech devices, but always consult with your doctor, always do your best to, you know, use these things as gauges, but get out there, work out, try to be healthy. All right, Dr. Mara with us this morning. Thank you so much for taking some time. Of course. And Good we will to see be you. yeah, we will be right back.